Thank you for calling Beverages, America's Software Headquarters. This is Larry. How can I help you then? Do we have what? Oh, yeah, yeah, we do. I mean, no. What is this battle toads you speak of? Larry, you need to clean your section. Crap. Video 19 day. Hey there, Larry Bergman here for an all new season of Video 1980. This season we're going to get back to basics. And today I've got one of the greatest console battles of all time. Stay tuned. Weekdays at 4 on Channel 6. Hey there. Welcome back. Well, I've got a great show for you today here. One of the greatest battles in all of video game history. What we got right here is the old Atari 8400 there. Very advanced system for its time there. Had a keyboard there, you know. Cartridge system. You got lots of easy controls there. It was a light gun. No one had even come out with one of these before for Supreme Interactive uh, Video Games there. And even the controller there, you know, the classic joystick for all the joystick games. Superior control there. It came out in 84. And, you know, shortly thereafter there were a lot of, you know, imposter systems like this uh, Nin Nintendo there. I don't know, I think I think that's Swedish for, for game or something. But everybody knows what Atari stands for. American Totally Awesome Recreational Interface. I mean, it's a brand name. And who are these people? I mean, look at this controller here. You can tell they're just totally copying Atari there. You know, with the gray and the black and the red buttons there. So, you know, the original system here fire up one of the games, you know, the classics. Oh, yeah. So, you know, what you got right there, you know, a little man jumping. You know, what do we have over here? Oh, look, a little man jumping. So, you know, they're just totally copying Atari there. I think they had some kind of lawsuit or something there. But you can plainly see this is the more advanced system. Look at all the games you got to choose from there. And you know, over here they've just got, you know, five or six. You know, three of them are the same game there. Trying to trick you. You know, with their Mario Boy thing, I don't know. They even came out with a sequel there, you know, to try and get you to buy the same game a third time. So, you know... Total ripoff there, in my opinion there. But you know, you got classic games uh, on here for the Atari there, like the Bug Hunt. Man, that was just totally advanced game there. See, look at the graphics there. Use the light gun there to shoot. It's pretty cool. And you know, other games there, you know, uh, say you know, Flight Simulator. I mean, they couldn't even do something like that on there. I mean, look how advanced that is. My dad couldn't even fly that, and I don't even know who he is. And, you know, let's see if we can fire this up. I guess, you know, a lot of uh, training involved there. But you got your keyboard, stuff like that there. Really a realistic flight, you know. I guess I'm waiting for, you know, uh, clearance to take off. You know, the FCC or whatever. 
TWA. So, you know, that's that's some pretty advanced games there. Classics, you know. Frogger there. And, you know, the uh, Gorf. I always like the Gorf there. Then we can fire up some Gorf. Come on, Gorf. You can do it. Gorf it. Gorf it up. And Gorf is not feeling too well today. Classics all around. Look at all this. I could be playing games for hours and, you know, what do they got? Three games over there? Oh, yeah, here's the classic. Let's see here. Yeah, there we go. <laughs> Flying around bird game there, yeah, everybody loves. So, you know, you can see this is the clearly the more advanced. You know, Atari came out with other systems after this, but, you know, this is the one they're best known for there. It's unmistakable, and, you know, they're really hard to find. So, you know, the clear winner is always Atari. So go with the winner. Go with Atari. I'm out. I broke the shrink right machine again.